157 pounds. Jaron Glosser stepping in for Michael Kemmer against Alec Pantaleo. This will be an opportunity for the Wolverines. Yeah, to, to number one, to get a win, right? But to also maybe take a look at bonus if that's possible. But Glosser's pretty strong. Pretty much a local kid. Out of Eddyville, Iowa. Eddyville Blakesburg Fremont High School, sophomore. Jaron Glosser stepping in for the All-American, Michael Kemmerer. Alec Pantaleo, after coming back from a red shirt, he uh, was an NCAA All-American two years ago. Plays sixth at 149 pounds, up at 157 after a red shirt year because he was injured last year. He, Abinator, Kuhn, all had injuries early last year and redshirt back in the lineup this year. How many times have we seen it, Tim, over the years where Iowa doesn't have their starter out there and the second team guy goes out there and puts it on an All-American? So this is uh, this has happened frequently and it's come to be expected. Glosser getting his opportunity to step in there and you can bet he's gonna make the best of it. Alec Pantaleo's dad, Mike, was a two-time All-American at Olivet College, and his uncle Joe is a two-time NCAA finalist for the Michigan Wolverines. Big match for Pantaleo. He's lost two or three, and that great match with Nolf lost. Nolf was able to ride him in third period. But a tough loss against Andrew Crone, and then followed that up against Jake Short with a 5-2 decision last weekend. Pantaleo's always been one of those guys really tough to take down. Short, stocky. You know, well built, strong, powerful, always out there in a big wide square stance, you know, but he's had some difficulty basically penetrating through an opponent here because of the the, the uh, position he chooses to take. It's really tough to take down. And here in the situation where you I'd have to say you're heavily favored, you've got you've got to go out there and you know this is a win for for Glosser if he can go ahead and stay and keep this match you know scoreless in the first period. Glosser 13 and three on the year, up against the number seventh ranked Alec Pantaleo, who is 10 and four. Keeping the crowd in it. We always talk about this. I mean, Glosser's doing a pretty good job of presenting himself, keeping himself in that small circle. And, you know, we've said this about both of these teams, Michigan um, they wrestle Penn State, Iowa and they wrestle Ohio State. These are two teams that every time they go out there right now, they've got wrestlers that are presenting themselves and, uh, and wrestling hard. Yeah, we saw it with, with Pantene when he was able to get some takedowns in his match against Penn State, so it's like, okay, stalemate situation. But this is a win, at least a, you know, a moral victory, so to speak, for Glosser to stay in this match and maybe keep the crowd in it. No question. Green, what a green! Down the way. Ooh, gosh. Well, you know, that's how you see how powerful he is. <laughs> there was a stall call, almost a takedown, but not, but how it affects either wrestler. Pantaleo's confidence there, just got to pull the trigger, and uh, he planted Glosser there, but Glosser did a nice a job of uh, got a jumping up. Finish there. Yeah. Well, you see the explosiveness of Pantaleo low to the ground, got those big legs, hips on him. Don't look for him to, he's gonna go ahead and try to ride a little bit with the wrist ride. He's really committed to it. Oh, that's a nice job to work himself back up once again, fighting hands. Yeah, but you know, he comes right over the top and squeezes hard right there. Now he's finishing below the hips, so a lot of energy being laid out there by both guys, try, one trying to get out and one trying to stay with him. Another mat return situation. Man, this is good effort right here by both wrestlers. Yeah, and there was a three count, and uh, they went off the mat. So, fortunate situation for Pantaleo because it didn't look like he could get above the waist all right before the five count. And for Pantaleo to, you know, just continue to uh, on a trajectory towards All American, you got to be able to do this against yeah. the best. And so this is. Uh, something you said it, Jim. He's committed to this right now. No matter what happens here, he's built up a lot of riding time. And he's he's re-gripped a couple of different times. Now he's working with a little half Nelson up over the top, keeping the weight on the hands. There. The, I, I don't know why more guys don't do that. Scoop the leg and go over that far Navy ride Two, right there. Three. 
on that uh, quad pod stand up. It's real easy to scoop the leg, and then you can just drive through like you're finishing a single leg. It's pretty they well done. Writing time over a minute now for Pantaleo. I'm going to tell you, if you would have told me it was 0 0, 50 seconds, second period, I said, I don't think so. And this just goes to show you the Big Ten, it doesn't matter the name. Somebody forgot to tell Glosser that he was the guy that was going to get beat today. Showing up and competing. Yeah, but what I see here, too, from Pantaleo is oh. if he did take him lightly at all, he's not taking him lightly now. No, yeah. he's staying with him in the top yes. position. He's got a lot of respect, I think, at this stage. Yes, it's he all does. about Matt returns, and he's, you know, he's. Burning the calories, no question about that. He's given himself a 19-second cushion on riding time if it comes to that with the quick escape. Fans appreciate, again, the effort. Glosser wrestling tough. Yeah, and, you know, that was furious Matt wrestling, all right? Guy coming up quite a bit. A lot of lifts in there for Pantaleo. Who's going to who, who's gonna weather that right now? Short time, 10 seconds left in the second period here. Now there is a stall call on Glosser. I want to make this comment real quick, guys. We had Sean Bormetta on before. With all due respect to my friends at Minnesota, with Coach Eggman and his staff, I think there's a new sheriff in town and the best-dressed coaching staff. It's Michigan with Torella, Bormet, and the Silver Fox. They're looking good. <laughs> Look good, feel good. Yeah, they got the good, nice, uh, <laughs> casual fashion look. Yeah, those guys in Minnesota are great. All right, we go to third period right now. 1-0 lead for the Hawkeye. Glosser, the riding time in favor of Pantaleo, but he's got, like Jim said, a 19-second cushion to get out. And he's out. Well, it's a reversal, too. Yeah. Reversal. And explosion. So two to one. And... Packing on the time to his riding time right now. Great explosion by Pantaleo. Very important match as we head into the intermission for Michigan. A little closer. Right now trailing 14 to 4. And what you're looking for from Iowa, you're looking for that competitive desire to kind of keep on working, give yourself hope. You can see that head dropped a little bit right there on that mat return, and it's it's uh, that, that window is kind of fading here for, for Glosser. Window of opportunity that he has here. Now they're off the edge of the mat. So no bonus points here. Well, tell you, you mentioned it, Jim, and just uh, as we look uh, into the future here, Alec Pantaleo, almost impossible to score on. I mean, uh, uh, against the he's normal on. wrestler right here, but he's also got a trigger that is, I mean, an explosion. I think it's a matter of... I mean, if it's mental or whatever, it's how how uh, much he keeps the attack on. Well, he kept the attack on in this position. Right, right. right. His, he's mentally checked into this, and he's really talking about grinding a guy down. So now that the mat returns, are, the let, he, you know, Glosser's not getting to his base. He's carrying a lot of weight on his head. You know, the way we've been seeing Stalin called. You know, if you put your head on the mat like that, you can get called pretty frequently, but you know, with the hand fighting that they were doing on the feet, now they're doing down there below on, on, in the referee's position. Riding time locked up, of course, but 30 seconds left, Glosser. Yeah, look at the competing, you know, that takes a lot of arm strength. Look at the Peter. level change by yeah. Pentelia. Yeah, so he, he can score when he wants. But Glosser right back in with that escape right there. Yes, a takedown will give it, but Pantaleo not going to have anything of it. Just holding position at this stage. Down blocking. Drives yeah. through for the exclamation mark for the Wolverine. Two more points with riding time. The score is 5-2. to two. Your winner at 157. Really, really workmanlike. Decision by Alec Pantaleo. Nice job. Joe McFarland gives him a congratulations. And Michigan gets three points on the board.